Now with British Prime Minister David Cameron's visit to the Gulf in early November. The question at the time was what prompted this high-level visit? Was it a potential deal to sell almost $10 billion worth of Typhoon fighter jets to the UAE and Saudi Arabia? Or was it more about smoothing over some ruffled relations? We met Edward Hobart, the British Consul General to the UAE, to find out more. Well, our whole relationship with the UAE is really, really important. Um, and that's signed by the fact that this is the first country that David Cameron has visited twice while he's been Prime Minister, other than, than European neighbours and the US. Um, and so that just demonstrates at all levels how important the relationship is. Be it defence, be it about trade, be it about our human interactions with 100,000 uh, Britons living here in Dubai, uh, in Dubai and, and Abu Dhabi, uh, that we want to make sure that that relationship is taken from the priority it's given at the moment uh, to be broadened and strengthened even further, right across the spectrum. Mm -hmm. I mean, looking, I guess, at that relationship, there have been some ups and downs uh, when it comes to countries here in the region, the, the UAE included, uh, in some cases, obviously, do with, with bad press coming out of the UK. Um, what, is, in your opinion, is the way to take that relationship forward and keep things uh, smooth sailing? Well, I think it's contact between people like the Prime Minister, uh, the Prime Minister here, uh, His Highness Mohammed bin Rashid, uh, the Crown Prince in Abu Dhabi, um, who uh, the Prime Minister spends quite a lot of time on the phone to talking about international relations. Uh, my boss, the Foreign Secretary, William Haig, is, is always talking to His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed, uh, the UAE Foreign Minister. So it's having those personal contacts and understanding them at all levels so that you know, when there are sometimes differences of opinion or things that happen in each other's countries, the relationship can be bigger and last beyond that because it's too important. Uh, the things we can do together, like last year in Libya, currently in Afghanistan, in trying to tackle problems like Syria and in trying to help each other's countries grow and become stronger uh, are just too important to let things like that get in the way. Um, I guess looking, bringing it back to obviously the Prime Minister's trip here, uh, it's the importance of trade ties, uh, which we were discussing a little earlier. Uh, one of the big things, of course, is the uh, potential sale of these 100 Typhoon uh, fighter jets to the UAE, Saudi Arabia. Uh, potentially a big, big deal. Um, tell me a little about the importance of that, obviously, for, for the, the United Kingdom and, and why it's important, obviously, to have someone like the Prime Minister out here to help mm -hmm. with these kinds of discussions. Well, look, the defense relationship is far broader than, than selling an airplane. Um, it's about working together in Libya and Afghanistan around the security of, of uh, the Gulf as well. Um, and you need equipment to do that. And we're looking at how we can partner with the UAE in developing equipment. Um, and so again, it wouldn't be, it's not just about selling Typhoon, it's about the rest of the defense industrial partnership. It's about knowledge transfer and building up technical skills here. And we all know that out of the defense industry, just like out of Formula One, uh, you have a whole load of, of technology which cascades and gets used in everyday life. So there are, for example, possibilities for things around Typhoon to be made here in the Emirates and for us to then take that relationship further forward. Uh, it's very important to the UK economy. Um, our defence and aerospace industries are very big. They employ a lot of people um, and uh, selling uh, aircraft in this region would help support jobs in the UK. But it's also a signal of our support, of our partnership. Why is the Prime Minister here doing it? Because it, it needs the government's backing because it's more than just sending a car. It's about a relationship.